بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله أه بداية أحب أرحب في الجميع في محاضرة Applied Linguistics which is معناها اللغويات التطبيقية and uh, since this is an English course I would like to welcome you all to my uh, Applied Linguistic course which I hope inshallah in turn will uh, turn into a uh, uh, a, a fruitful course for you and for your uh, endeavor or your career, your future career. Uh, my name is Dr. Abdullah Al Mulhim. Uh, I uh, have a PhD in TESOL from the University of Mississippi, and uh, also I have a, a, a master's uh, from West Virginia University. And I, uh, of course, I graduated from KFU, I mean King Faisal University, uh, also majoring in foreign languages. Uh, uh, I will be, inshallah, teaching you uh, applied linguistics, as you can see in the screen. Uh, applied linguistics, when we say applied linguistics, we are referring to the linguistics that has relation to the profession of teaching and learning, teaching and learning the language. So, uh, inshallah, I will uh, take you uh, in a glance about the course and its contents, its objectives, and also the uh, references and the course evaluation methods that I will be using with you. Before I start the glance, uh, there are certain expectations that I would expect from my students. And uh, no, inshallah, they uh, follow up all the uh, lectures that is going to be posted on the uh, system and also, uh, I'm expecting that they attend the uh, live lectures that will be hopefully uh, arranged later on. Uh, to me, as, as, as a, an instructor of this course, I would always deal with my students as a student. I would always deal with my students as a student, meaning that you are all A students to me, unless you prove otherwise. On my part, for my part, I will do my best to try to send all the messages across in a, in a very simple way. I do understand that most of my students are uh, Saudis, and uh, probably Saudis, I would say, with a similar background. So I do expect that they have the same sort of uh, process of learning second language. Uh, I do understand also that you are almost in the uh, uh, third year on, in, in, your, uh, in your education at KFU. So I'm expecting that you are already, uh, any, I wouldn't say 100% fluent in the language, but I would say that you understand what I'm trying to say. Please advise me if I am not clear and also I uh, will be inshallah sending you or I'll be uh, you know giving you my email so please 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 uh, please try as much as you can to write whatever you feel so I can يعني, make sure that I am sending my messages across in a in a in a in a in a proper way that would make everybody all all students understand what I'm trying to say the word applied linguistics is not an easy term to define but I will try to break it down into little points so it can get to you in a uh, I would say in an easy format I hope so let me take you again to a glance uh, about the course and uh, I hope uh, you know everything will be uh, clear to you at the screens. The uh, course content, as you can see in the screen, is going to be covering the main areas of applying linguistics knowledge, or linguistic knowledge, I should say, in specific professions. I would say it again, that applied linguistics covers the main areas of applying linguistic knowledge in specific professions, particularly teaching English and translation. So we'll be concentrating on those two 
main topics, which is teaching English and translation. Also, the course surveys areas such as error analysis and interlanguage. Now, when we talk about error analysis, we'll be uh, explaining how, as English teachers, how do we use the errors made by second language learners, okay, uh, f that is stemmed off or stemmed out of, of their first language and try to analyze it in order to use it in teaching students the second or slash foreign language. Also, we'll be talking about the interlanguage. It's an interim system, interlanguage. When we say interim system, we're talking about a system that is in between, between the first language and the second slash foreign language. When I say second language, I'm referring to the second language that we are, uh, uh, we are uh, learning. When I say foreign language, you would know that it's a Lugha Ajnabi. A second language is a second language. There is a little difference. There is a, a huge difference, actually, between second and foreign language. But in our case, we are uh, learning English as a foreign language. So we will be also talking about the interlanguage system and how it affects acquiring and learning the second language. Also, we'll be talking about language testing since we uh, uh, are all, you know, since we are going to be uh, probably teachers or in the uh, profession of, of education in general, we will be needing the language testing. How do we test when it comes to uh, language courses? And also the methods of evaluation um, in these uh, tests or in these assessments, we shall call it. Also, we'll be talking about the learning and teaching, the applied linguistics and its relation to learning and teaching. And we shall uh, elaborate more on that. Of course, not to mention the syllabus and curriculum design. This is a huge topic, too. We'll hopefully, inshallah, cover that in a, uh, uh, a detailed, uh, a semi-detailed uh, aspect. And not to mention also the communication skills that we need when we are uh, second or foreign language learners. In addition to that, uh, the... Uh, the course will be discussing the approaches to first and second language acquisition and language planning. Now, when we talk about first and second language acquisitions, we're talking about the way we acquire. Now, when we say acquire, we're not saying we learn, okay? Acquisition is different from learning, and we'll talk about, we'll talk more about that, hopefully, inshallah, in the uh, next uh, lectures or two. Um, and also, inshallah, we'll be talking also about the language planning. Uh, of course, when we say second language acquisition, we're talking about so many theories that tackle that or those uh, uh, theories. And inshallah, we'll be touching, we'll be having a hands-on sort of, uh, uh, you know, uh, examples on how to uh, understand the uh, theories of first and second language acquisition. Now let me take you to the course rationale. Uh, the uh, the uh, department thought that the course is, uh, is important to uh, students since it satisfies the need of knowing the possible applications of language, of language studies. I'll repeat that again. It satisfies the need of knowing the possible applications of language studies. And uh, it also prepares students for further study in different fields of language teaching and planning. Also, the course is, will be enabling students to develop different aspects of applied linguistics. These are the course rationales. Of course, this is uh, uh, not only the, the, uh, the uh, rationale behind it. There are so many other points that we'll be uh, hopefully uh, discussing and, and, and tackling during uh, uh, or throughout the course. The course objectives, as you can see now on the screen, is that by the end of the course, we hope, or I hope at least, that students should be able to demonstrate knowledge of the main areas of applied linguistics. 
Now, demonstrate knowledge of the main areas of applied linguistics. Now, when we talk about applied linguistics, there are so many aspects. We need you as students to demonstrate knowledge. That means you, know, you have knowledge about, you have a good background about. Also, uh, we hope that the students would be showing an understanding of language learning and teaching and the whole you know, uh, uh, spectrum about language uh, learning and teaching. Also, we hope that students would be able to utilize specific language applications in areas such as teaching methodology, and we'll be talking about the teaching methodologies and the different schools that tackled uh, methodologies in second language learning. Also, lesson planning, as you can see here, curriculum and syllabus design, and of course, as I mentioned earlier, language evaluation. Also, by the end of the course, we hope that students should demonstrate practical skills in applying different teaching methodologies. And there are so many methodologies that we'll be tackling, inshallah, among which are some of them, or some of which are an, very old methodologies, and some of them are new uh, methodologies, relatively speaking, of course. Now, uh, you know, examples of those methodologies would be uh, grammar translation method methodology, uh, uh, the the communicative approach as as a new approach, and inshallah, I will be tackling all the types of methodologies with you later on in the course. Uh, throughout the course, I'll be teaching you or using certain methods. Uh, the methods uh, that I will be using is lectures, like like I'm doing, uh, like I'm doing now. Also, inshallah, there will be a, a, a three live uh, lectures, as I've uh, understood from the organizers. So we'll be inshallah uh, be given and taken about all the uh, topics and aspects of the course. Also, handouts. Hopefully, I'll be handing you out, or at least posting in the system, some handouts, some helpful and useful handouts, so you can uh, relate to and refer back to throughout the course. Also, uh, we'll be having some hands-on testing techniques and assessment. Yani, there will be some uh, uh, practicums. There will be some practices on how to do test techniques and how to, uh, you know, do assessment from all aspects. Also, we'll be having practical examples on curriculum and syllabus design. We'll be sort of touching upon the main ideas uh, of curriculum and syllabus design and also lesson planning. I'll be, I'll, I'll be also using your feedback. Your students' feedback would be uh, a, a great help for me so I can sort of understand what you are uh, at or what level are you at, uh, what kind of uh, problematic areas or what kind of problems you're encountering during the course so I can sort of uh, revive and uh, try as much as you can, illustrate more and elaborate uh, more on them so you can understand them fully. Also uh, among the uh, you know uh, uh, teaching methods, I'll be using assignments, probably quizzes. I'm not quite sure that I'll be using quizzes, uh, but I know that will be assignments that I will be assigning you to do as homeworks and everything, uh, covering the areas that we're going to be covering, inshallah. The course evaluation, I, I think this is typical to all the courses, and as you can see now, that your attendance will be uh, uh, evaluated as 10% of the overall uh, evaluation of the course. The participation also will be 10%. Uh, Assignments also will be 10%. And the final exam is going to be 70%. Uh, now, I'll be talking about the textbooks and references. Now, I do understand that you know there is a difficulty getting some of those textbooks. Now, the main textbook that you can see here is the textbooks that I got from the university. Now, I might uh, later on uh, sort of decide or m you know make certain changes, but for the time being, for the time being, I would like you to you know dig really deep for those two books, the main two, the main two textbooks that you can see here. One is by uh, Guy Cook, and it's called Applied Linguistics, and the 
Roy Davis uh, is an introduction to applied linguistics. Also, there are so many, diff you know, uh, so many references that you can uh, relate to. Uh, I mean, the market is full of them, and uh, I can assure you that you can use, uh, you know, all types of, you know, uh, uh, second language acquisition or foreign language teaching and learning, and you will see a lot of sort of uh, topics that is related to the content of our course. Also, we uh, have a very important reference. I think this, this can go with you throughout your life, or your career life, I should say, is a, a, a book you know, by Douglas Brown, and it's called The Principles of Language Learning and Teaching. Also, there are some websites that you can see here that you can refer to. Uh, those websites, I believe that they have so many um, topics, so many helpful topics to the students that they can read more and more about to, uh, uh, to be competent in the topics and the areas we're going to be uh, teaching. I hopefully uh, yeah, and it was uh, clear about what I said earlier. Please again, you know, I do, uh, uh, I do uh, also call you to please let me know if you need anything or you feel that you don't understand the way that I'm speaking to you, please, as much as you can, give me a feedback. Uh, inshallah, by next semester, by next lecture, the, the, the next lecture, Muhammad al qadma I will be giving you, I'll give you out the, uh, the email so we can get together or we can communicate with each other through email. Also, as I understood from the organizers, that they will be giving me a cellular phone, a mobile phone, uh, for the course. They call it the mobile phone for the course so we can uh, stay in touch uh, in case that you need any uh, queries, any questions, any clarifications regarding the course or the content uh, of the course or the areas and the topics of the course that we'll be shallow tackling throughout the course. I hope this is uh, uh, يعني, uh, uh, enough for the uh, time being. And I hope that you have uh, already got the main uh, uh, topics uh, of the course, the, the gesture, the way we call it, and I will uh, be definitely assessing you and assisting you all the way through. Consider me uh, as, as a facilitator, a uh, brother of yours, and I hope that will be a, a helpful uh, uh, instructor throughout the course and wishing you inshallah the best and wishing you success in your education and hopefully inshallah this course will uh, end up in a fruitful way to every one of you thank you so much and i appreciate it we'll see you inshallah next week